Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you are new and you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Brittany. I post a lot of postpartum health and fitness related content here on my channel and I am just trying to get back into the best shape of my life here in 2021. So if that's a journey that you're interested in following along and maybe motivating yourself along the way, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos from me. And as the title says, it is a full day of eating with a twist because this year I decided that I needed to challenge myself mentally and that is why I decided to hop on the mental challenge of 75 hard which is a mental toughness challenge and it was created by this guy who had like this idea of how to really change your life and I am just obsessed with this program. I've been looking at it for quite a while now. For the last month and a half, I had been looking into it. I had been like practicing, like drinking a gallon of water a day to just kind of see if it was something that I would be even interested in doing. So the creator of this, Andy Frisella, he has a podcast. I'll make sure to list him down below and all of the resources and things like that. If you guys are interested in taking the challenge, it is a 75 day challenge. And basically what 75 hard is, it has these requirements that you need to hit every single day for 75 days in a row and if you there's no cheat so if you don't do any of these things then you have to restart over and it's not necessarily a health and fitness challenge although there are health and fitness components to the challenge it is more so a mental challenge so I'm not doing this because I want to lose a bunch of weight I mean that is going to be an added benefit and as you know here on my channel we talk a lot about postpartum fitness and I am on a wellness journey to get the best body of my life this year but I really needed this because I needed something to challenge myself. I've been dealing a lot with some mental health issues and some anxiety, postpartum depression and anxiety are something that I've dealt with a lot in the last year and a half since having my uh, youngest son TJ. And so it's really something that I wanted to kind of challenge myself with, get into like the best spiritually and mental um, shape of my life as well as a physical. So that is why I decided to tackle this. And I am someone who really does do well with checking things off of the list and just following instructions. It's so simple, but the simpler something is, the harder it seems to be, especially doing something repetitive. So that's why I'm really interested in doing this challenge. So the components of the challenge are this. You need to follow a diet. So I will be following a macro diet. I had someone create a meal plan for me and I did not have to pay for this because it was somebody who was in a 75 hard challenge group that I'm in and he's also a registered dietitian. So it was kind of by luck that I found this guy to create this meal plan for me. I'm going to be doing a balanced macros plan. So I am not going to be doing, um, I have specific days where I will be doing lower carb and more balanced carbs. Uh, the balanced carbs are going to be on the days when I'm weightlifting and I will go into depth with you guys on like my workout plans and stuff like that a little bit later in this video. But for all intents and purposes, the rules are that you need to be following a specific diet, whatever that diet is. You can choose whatever it is, but you need to stick to it. No cheats. So no cheating, no, no cheat meals, um, and no wine or alcohol or anything like that, which isn't a problem for me because as you all know, I don't drink. Um, and then another requirement is that you need to have two 45 minute workouts a day. They need to be separate and one of the workouts needs to be outside. And then the next requirement is that you need to drink a gallon of water a day. So I did pick up this gallon jug. This is the Hydro Mate. I'll have it linked down below for you guys in the description box if you're interested in grabbing one of these. I've had this thing forever and I feel like I do pretty well. A tip for me is going to be pouring the water from this jug into a smaller mug when I'm around the house because it just really helps me drink it. But nonetheless, you have to drink a gallon of water a day. And the next thing is that you need to read 10 pages of a non-fictional book or personal development, entrepreneurship book, something like that every single day. What am I missing? Am I missing something? Okay, so follow a diet, no cheats, like no cheat meals, no alcohol or of any kind, gallon of water a day, two workouts, 45 minutes each, and personal development, 10 pages a day. Oh, and you need to take a progress picture. That's the last requirement. You have to take a progress picture every single day. I did download the 75 Hard app, which all of these things are super easy. It gives you a checklist that you can just check off, and you can also take your picture in there and store it in the app, which is great. It was $4.99 to purchase the app, but everything about this program is completely free, so definitely make sure you guys check that out. Again, I'll have all the resources linked down below for you guys if you're interested, and that's why I decided to uh, go ahead and do this challenge. It's so simple. The like everything is laid out for you and it's something that I can follow and it's something that I just feel like I needed. After last year of tackling like my health and fitness on my own, I feel like I was really successful. I did lose about, I think 27 pounds last year. I'll have the correct number for you guys. I can't remember right off the back of my head right now. Um, 
but this year I really wanted to get into the best shape of my life that was my goal I did talk about that in the last video and so one of the ways that I want to do that is getting myself mentally fit as well and that's just consistency across the board so I've been chatting a lot but anyways that is what 75 hard is and right now I'm getting ready to do a little bit of meal prep so I'm prepping my breakfast and I'm also going to prep a few meats and different carb sources for the week so I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm making let's go ahead and get on into this video because I've been sitting here talking for already five minutes so and I don't want to bore you guys to death but if you guys are interested in this I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel so every single Wednesday it's going to be a what I eat Wednesday but it's also going to be a check-in with where I'm at on 75 hard so I am getting ready to prepare some breakfast this week so I just have um, half of a zucchini cut up a fourth of an onion some red and green bell pepper and then I'm gonna be using some egg whites as well as some whole eggs and I've got some baby spinach here that I'm gonna chop up as well I'm gonna be doing um, I'm gonna make myself three breakfasts. so this is gonna be enough for three days worth of breakfast and this is just gonna be my eggs I really love having eggs with a ton of veggies in it and spinach it just helps me get like a good jump start on the day with all the vegetables so I'm gonna go ahead and make um, this I'm gonna do three servings of the egg whites and then I'm gonna do three whole eggs and that's gonna you know I'm gonna cook it all in one pan and separate it into to three containers and then I picked up this chosen foods avocado oil spray at Costco that it came two in a pack I'm just gonna spray my pan there a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and saute up all of these veggies in here and add my eggs nice and cooked and I'm going to be having a serving of this today with some oatmeal um, it is a heavier carb day because I am going to the gym to train later today so yeah okay so here is my eggs and I topped it with a little bit of this penny salsa pico de gallo and then I just got a serving of oats this is the same oatmeal that I prepared in a previous video um, super simple like literally it's just almond milk water um, old-fashioned oats and then I use the Walden Farms maple syrup and some cinnamon and I put some nutmeg in there today which I think made it taste really good um, but this is gonna be my first meal guys and then I have the rest of my eggs here in just this Tupperware container which I'll just split up when I'm gonna eat them um, I decided not to waste and like put them in their own meal prep containers because certain days I'm going to just have the eggs by themselves with like berries and avocado and then someday like one of the other days I'm gonna have this I'm gonna have it with oats again so I didn't want to like put it in a container it's just better for me to portion it out and I know that there are three portions um, the portion I just ate and then there are two portions in here so it's just gonna be like an even divide all right, so it's 1.30 right now, and I just made myself a quick little salad. I had these leftover chicken thighs that I made in my Ninja Foodie the other night. Um, so I love leftovers, so we're just going to go ahead and do a salad. This is just a bed of greens with romaine and some spinach, some avocado, some uh, Mexican-style cheese, a few tomatoes, and then I'm going to be using this Walden Farms Chipotle Ranch. Guys, this stuff is so good, and I promise you this Walden Farms... They literally have so many sauces, um, like ketchup, barbecue sauce, maple syrup, all these different kinds of um, salad dressings. Zero calories, guys. Like, completely free of basically anything. Calorie-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, cholesterol-free, fat-free, you know, like... I don't know, like, but this stuff is sorcery. It tastes so good. Um, I really love this Chipotle Ranch right now, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this. All right, I am about to have a little snack. It's 2.40 right now, um, and I'm going to get dinner prepped here in a second, but I'm just going to have a serving of these Blue Diamond Lightly Salted Almonds, and then I saw this trend on TikTok, and honestly, it's pretty good, but I'm going to take half of this um, red bell pepper, and I'm going to top it with a serving of cream cheese. This is really good. It is a little bit 
higher in fat and I don't I haven't had a lot of dairy today actually as a matter of fact I haven't had any dairy today so um oh I'm sorry I did I had a little bit of cheese on my salad but I'm gonna probably cap my dairy at this so I don't know I'll check back in with you guys but I mean I am trying to limit my dairy as much as possible but this is really good and for like a tablespoon I mean I'm just gonna go ahead and take it all right guys, so here's my snack. I just have a serving of almonds. I've got the, um, like, it ended up being like a, I'd say a half, maybe a quarter, of bell pepper with a tablespoon and a half of cream cheese and a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. This is like a super high fat um, snack and it's really good. All right guys, we are getting ready for some dinner right now. I am preparing some spaghetti. I'm making a spaghetti like bake for my family with regular noodles and I'm just gonna take some of the meat, reserve it for myself and make some zoodles on the side and that's what I'm going to eat. Um, it's 4.40 right now so I've gotta hurry up and get this made. Um, just simple spaghetti meat, I just seasoned it. Let me show you what I made actually. So I've got the ground beef going right now. I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, um, some thyme, sage, rosemary, garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, made my own little Italian herb blend. And then I've got the noodles over there for my family. Uh, so I'm just gonna cook this. And then of course I'm going to be adding in my Rayo's marinara. This is literally my favorite sauce ever. There's super good um, stats on that. Five net grams of carbs, four grams of sugar. 7 grams of fat, 100 calories per serving. It's really, really good. And then I'm going to add in some sliced mushrooms as well to the sauce once I get it all going. Um, and, of course, some garlic. Uh, so I'm just cooking this right now. I'll show you guys a little bit more when I get closer to having it. Okay, so I've got a couple tablespoons of butter in there, and I'm going to add in these. I'm going to take this off the heat because I don't want it to actually cook. I'm gonna add in um, a little bit of cream cheese and I'm gonna crack one egg in there. Oh my God, doing that one-handed. Yes, holler at you, girl, guys. And then I'm just gonna like mix this all together. This is my family's dish, but this stuff is so good, I'm telling you right now. Like these noodles are about to be bomb. So here is my little spaghetti casserole for my family and then over here I just have my zoodles. I boiled them for literally like a minute. I don't like them to be super mush. I still like them to have a little bit of firmness so I drop them in. Literally as soon as I drop them in I wait until they turn super bright green which is like under a minute and then I just drain them. And um, this is six ounces of ground beef that I saved. Uh, so this is going to be two meals for me so I'm just going to eat like half right now with a side salad and that's gonna be my dinner. And it's 5.20 right now and I'm about to go to the gym in like an hour and 15 minutes, so I'm gonna eat this right now. All right guys, so I got my uh, spaghetti meal here and I was just gonna share with you guys this uh, sriracha tahini dressing. I think I've talked about this once before, but I got this at Thrive Market. Um, so good salad dressing, so this is my dinner. All right guys, so it's 6.30 right now. I am on my way to the gym. I'm actually letting my car warm up for a few minutes in my driveway. Um, I just brought with me my water. I'm literally almost done with it. I'm at the six o'clock mark, so I'm doing just fine. Um, I know I'm probably gonna kill that in my workout. Uh, I brought with me just one little packet of pre-workout. Drop down in the comments and let me know what pre-workout you guys use, because I am getting close to being towards the end of all this beach body stuff that I have and I really want to look at something else so let me know um so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and head to the gym now okay car lighting is like the world's worst lighting in the world but it is what it is so I am about to go in here I think I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot my pre-workout now. I'm not gonna take my camera in because honestly guys, this is my first day back at the gym in like t 
two years. Like I've been doing home workouts and just working out at home for literally two years. Like I can't remember the last time I stepped inside a gym. Like I'm, and it's the same gym I went to before. Um, but I don't know, I feel nervous. Like I got, I brought Clorox wipes with me and I've got my mask and I've got my hand sanitizer and I've literally got everything, but I still just feel like super nervous. I guess that's just comes with the territory right now with everything going on in the world, but I know that I need this for my mental health, so I'm doing it. So, anywho, cheers. Mm. Oh, that fruit punch flavor hits. But I guess I will leave the actual workout that I'm doing. I'm planning on doing an upper body workout today. So I will leave the workout somewhere on the screen or something. Let's go. All right, guys. So I am back home from the gym and I didn't film anything while I was in there because uh, it was kind of embarrassing because I have not been in the gym in so long. I didn't see anyone else recording themselves and like COVID and everything. So I didn't even bring my camera. Obviously I didn't record anything, but I just got home and I am going to make a protein shake because that sounds good so like today okay so i'm gonna be using um shakeology i'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here i do like my smoothies to be kind of thick but i need obviously to add water so i'm gonna add a little bit um and then i'm also going to add in a little bit of this too good this is just the plain greek yogurt but this stuff is really good i love it I'm just gonna add like maybe a couple tablespoons in there This is gonna make it really nice and creamy. And then I had half an avocado cup earlier with my salad and there's just like a little bit left so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. And this is the plant-based vanilla Shakeology. Again, I'm just using this stuff because I purchased it and I have so much of it, but when I'm done, I will be looking for a new protein powder. I'll probably go with Isopure or something. And then um, instead of peanut butter, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this PB2 Fit. Um, this stuff is really good because it's it tastes just like peanut butter, but it's not as, many, as much calories or as much fat. There's only two grams of fat in this and 70 calories for two tablespoons, which is A-OK -okay for me. And I'm gonna add in um, a serving of hemp hearts. A regular serving is three tablespoons, but I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon and a half, mostly because I feel like hemp hearts just don't blend well for me in the Vitamix. I don't know what, if it's me, if I'm doing something wrong, but for some reason, I cannot get my hemp hearts to blend and I don't really like that chunky texture. And then maca powder, I'm gonna add in a little bit of maca powder. This stuff is really, really good. It's a superfood, and I really like this. It helps with regulating your hormones and stuff like that. And it basically just promotes like balance in the body. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of that. This is also apparently like the woman's aphrodisiac. So I don't know, ladies, just letting you know. I know like training this hard can take away a lot of that stuff, so. It even says on the back of the bag, go after each day with passion and drive. <laughs> All right, and I just picked this up on Amazon, by the way. So anything I can, I'll link down below for you guys if I can. All right, so I am gonna add in uh, just a tablespoon of cocoa powder. It'd be like a chocolate peanut butter shake. gonna blend that all up. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this and I've already just about finished my water for today. So I'm gonna finish up my water. This is how much I have left. 
I already took my picture, did my readings this morning, both workouts complete. So day one is officially done. Let's see what I'm still talking about next week. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss the next video and I'll catch you guys in the next update. Bye.